These types of jobs usually involve working with scientific or technical ideas. Let's introduce you to two of these jobs. Noel is an IT help desk officer who works for VU. Each day, Noel helps out people working at VU with their computer problems. Sometimes he gives advice on the phone. At other times, he goes to fix computers in people's offices. He has a very good knowledge of computers and can fix problems with the computer software programs as well as the parts inside the computer. Noel works with a team of IT staff to provide a good service to the workers at VU. To get this job, Noel needed to show that he communicates very well with customers. He also needed to show that he's a good problem solver. After he finished secondary school, Dung completed a two-year diploma of information technology at TAFE, specialising in software development. He was good at maths at secondary school, which was an advantage during his course. Noel could use his IT skills in many different sorts of businesses. He could work for an IT company, or he could work for a business that uses computers in their day-to-day -day work. He's hoping to move into a management role one day, so he's considering going back to university to complete his Bachelor of Business Information Systems, which will give him more knowledge of computing and business management. Since he already has a diploma in IT, he can move along the IT pathway into a bachelor degree. Because of this, his degree will take him less time than the normal three years. Here are some possible pathways for someone who wants to start at TAFE and work their way through to university in information technology. However, if you finish secondary school, you can apply for the bachelor's degree without studying at TAFE first. There are many other types of IT jobs, including computer programmers, web designers, IT project managers, network analysts.